Hey everyone, Brad Pros here from Chilies and Smoke, and this video today is brought to you by Western Wood. They supplied me with some awesome wood chips because I am going to show you how to use wood chips effectively on a charcoal grill. Speaking of smoke, you can see that I am lighting up my little Weber 22 inch right here. We're going to use wood chips two different ways today for the two main ways that I like to use wood chips when cooking directly over charcoal. Wood chips are a great way to add a significant boost of smoke flavor to anything that you're cooking on the grill. Whether you're going to be grilling directly over the coals or using a two-zone method and cooking indirectly for something that might take a little bit longer. Now something that's really important, and you've probably heard me say this before on my other wood chip videos, don't soak the wood chips. When you put soaked wood chips directly on the charcoal, what happens is that that water has to evaporate first before the wood starts to smolder. So there's going to be a steaming process that happens and you're not going to get that smoke flavor that you want right away. Now one of the best ways to slow the wood burning process is to just simply use some heavy duty foil. All you have to do is put about a cup or a half a cup depending on how much wood flavor that you want and put it in some foil, double wrap it up, seal it up tight, making sure that there's very, very little oxygen in here and poke a few holes in the front. And once that charcoal is lit, you simply just have to throw this directly on the coals. I'm gonna go ahead and dump out my charcoal bucket here, get the grill lit up, and then I'm gonna put this foil pack on because we're gonna smoke some burgers. All right, so the grill's prepared. The coals are on one side. I put the foil pack in and the lids on so that smoke can form in there and build a really nice environment. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two hand-formed burger patties on here. I've just got a little coffee rub seasoning. I'm gonna set these on the cool side of the grill. Woo, that is a smoke bomb. All right, let's get these burgers on. Remember, I'm gonna set them on the cool side of the grill over here. And then I'm gonna quickly put the lid back on so that these can keep smoking. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. I put about a quarter cup of wood chips in here and you can tell that it's not blowing off near as much smoke anymore. The burgers have definitely changed in color. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see the smoke flavor. They've got this beautiful red crust on the outside all from that smoke. So I've carefully removed the foil pack from the coals and now I'm gonna go ahead and sear these burgers directly over the heat just to finish them off. All right, so I just pulled off these two burgers. I'm gonna let them rest. We're gonna cook the rest of the burgers. I'm actually gonna put some shrimp kebabs right on the grill. I'm gonna show you how we can sprinkle wood chips right on the charcoal to get an added smoke flavor for quick grilling. Okay, so as always, it's really important to clean your grill, especially if we're gonna be grilling shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this grill grate insert, put this aside. Then I'm gonna grab some mesquite chips from Western. I'm gonna take about quarter of a cup or so. Shrimp don't take very long, just a few minutes. So what I'll do is just sprinkle these wood chips right over the coals. Try to spread them out evenly. I'm gonna do a couple more. I just want a little extra smoky flavor. Why not? And you're gonna notice right away that there's gonna be smoke coming off and there's also gonna be some extra flames because obviously it's fueling the heat. So let's go ahead and work with that. I'm gonna put these marinated shrimp skewers right over the coals, cook them for just a couple minutes each side. Pro tip, always check your tongs to make sure they're working before you start grilling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. These don't take very long. Don't wanna overcook the shrimp. Just looking for a nice char and some quick smoke flavor. Beautiful. Let's let those go for just another minute or two. All right, the shrimp are ready. I'm gonna take them off the grill and actually just put them in this bowl where I've got a little bit of a chili garlic butter going. We'll stir those around and let them rest in that room temperature butter.
All right, let's stir up the shrimp here. Make sure they get coated in that delicious roasted chili butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro for some color, because I'm a little chefy. Man, those smell incredible. All right, now we can assemble this burger. Okay, let's build the burgers. We've got these toasted buns. We're gonna put some mayo on there just real quick to get them nice and crispy. Look at those amazing smoked burgers. Then we're gonna grab some of this awesome shrimp. Put a few of these on the burger carefully. Look at that. Put a little bit extra butter sauce on here too. Why not? Don't wanna waste anything. There we go. All stays together. All right. Who's hungry? Look at that. Two different ways of using wood chips to create these amazing burgers. Grilled shrimp, smoked burgers, so good. Obviously, I've got to take a bite. Let me see if I can do this one-handed here. I got it. Mmm. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in today. If you have any other questions about wood chips, feel free to leave a comment below or check some, out some of the other videos in my channel that cover how to use wood chips as a general overall guide or on your gas grill too. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm.